What's good, YouTube? It's your man, it's Mr. Waste himself, back at it again with another YouTube video, man. It's been a long time, real talk. A very long, long, long eight months, you dig what I'm saying? It's been a very long time, man, but I'm glad to be home again. As you can see, I'm back where I started, you dig what I'm saying, man? So I'm back home again, doing it and doing it good. This video, this video is not finna be a usual video. This video is not finna be a vlog. It's not finna be a reaction video. I usually try not to do these videos all the time, but this video is about to be about what's going on in the world today. Like, it's a lot of different, it's a lot of different things going on in the world today. Like, it's really going, it's really blowing my mind, man. Um, and it's really like, it's really hard to explain, but I feel like I need to say something because a lot of people been asking me my opinion on what's really going on. What do I think about the situation? What do I think is happening? And honestly, to be truthful, it low key kind of pissed me off. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cap. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit around here and act like everything is perfect. And it's only so much I can say, but it's enough that I can say. And honestly, truthfully, what I feel, I feel that what happened, so everything has been going crazy. I'm just gonna say that. We had the coronavirus. We had a lot of different things happen. I got stuck on a whole different continent for about eight months, which I was, whew, a lot of different things have been happening since we've been, since 2020 has started. And one big thing right now at the moment is George Floyd. Um, I really want to talk about it because it was wrong. In my opinion, it was wrong. Um, I don't like to do this on my channel, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And I feel like it's do talking about this will help me get it off my chest. Uh, I feel like what happened to him should have never happened. Uh, like real talk, like not even trying to like mess around. I'm trying not to cuss because I I'm trying to, you know, be real and not cuss to use profanity. But at the end of the day, it was some BS, man. Like people sit here and say that, oh, he was on drugs, he was doing this, he was doing that. It doesn't matter, man. George Floyd was a human. And at the end of the day, man, the way the situation was handled, the way everything happened, the way it occurred was totally wrong. And the reason I say it, though, because and the reason I feel like I can say this is because I am a law enforcement officer. If nobody knows my background, that is my that is my job. Like, excuse me. That is what I do. Like. That is my job, like I'm a law enforcement officer. So when I look at that video and I looked at it for about, I looked at it twice for, and I had to really look at it to understand what really happened. It makes no sense. It makes no sense that he had his neck, his knee on George Floyd's neck. It makes no sense that he couldn't take his knee off of his neck and put him in a vehicle. It makes no sense that the person who was standing there, rec not re the person who was standing there recording him, telling him to get up, he can't even listen to that person. The person who was recording, he hurt so bad that she cried going back to the scene. So imagine that as a human being, you have to witness something that you can't stop, but you can record it. It's wrong, and then it's right. And everybody knows it was wrong. His partner who was standing there watching him put his knee on his neck was wrong. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, it's no, the, the academy that I went to is the same academy that he goes to. The same training that I went to is the same training that he goes to. So at the end of the day, it seems to me that you must have not been trained correctly because you got fired for a reason. And obviously, the training is wrong. Because 
I've I've never seen a point where we had to put. I've never witnessed, and I've responded to many things, but I've never witnessed a time where I had to put my knee on somebody's neck and stop their breathing. He literally was calling for his mother, bruh. Like, calling for his mom. And, like, y'all sit here and think, like, that's, like, oh, he was fighting, he was on drugs. It don't matter what type of drugs or dope he was on. It don't matter. You are a law enforcement officer in the community to protect and to serve the community. I protect and I serve my country. You dig what I'm saying? So it's a whole different ball game. I got to do two things in one. I got to protect and serve my community and protect and serve my country at the same time. So at the end of the day, the things that you've learned have to be incorrect. Because when a man is breathing and he is down, he's defenseless and he has nothing, he has no ability to attack you, even if he is fighting. If you do not want to fight that man, you take your neck off of his, you take your knee off of his neck. And as a partner, you the partner should have said, hey, get your knee off of his neck when he said, I can't breathe. It's a point in the time as a law enforcement officer to where you see, for example, if a person is saying, hey, these handcuffs are too tight, it is our obligation to check those handcuffs with our pinky, to put our pinky in those handcuffs to ensure that, that those handcuffs are not constricting the blood flow to the individual's hands. Just as it is not necessary, you're not allowed to hit an individual with the baton in the head or in the, or in the neck or in the, like... The baton is to be a blow to the knee or to the thigh. These are the things that you are supposed to understand and remember as a law enforcement officer. And it don't make sense to me that you put your knee on his neck. Obviously, he can't move because he's handcuffed behind his back. Obviously, he can't walk because obviously his feet are already he's on his stomach. Obviously, if he is fighting and you don't want to fight him, you pick him up and you put him in the vehicle. Obviously, he can't get out the vehicle because the back of the vehicle is going to be locked. And he can't get out the vehicle because it's made to where only he, you can open the door in the back. So why don't you just, you could have just put him in the vehicle. That's one thing. And two, he can't spit on you. He can't bite you because you got a cage in the back of your vehicle. So that means he can't come up to the front. So at the end of the day, it makes no sense. It really don't, you dig what I'm saying? It really don't make no sense. Trust me, I do this. I do this, you hear me? I really do. And it makes it makes no sense how you sit, people sit here and be like, oh, well, he was on this, this, and that. It doesn't matter. It's help you can give him for that. As an officer, you're supposed to give him help. And I looked at that man, and when his knee was on his on his neck, he looked weak. He looked like a punk. He looked like a bully. The moment somebody approached him, it was like, hey, get your knee off his neck. He went quick to pull out a taser. He went to quick to pull out a, some mace. Some mace. Like, why are you macing people? People are trying to save a life. You're not trying to save it. Obviously, you're trying to take one. And if you look at his background, he's been in multiple cases stating that he's he's not even fit to be a law enforcement, law enforcement officer. George Floyd was a security guard. And his friends worked in the same club as him who were security guards out there and police officers as well. That's crazy how your friends are supposed to be there and they didn't even help. They didn't even try to try to make the situation better. You have LTs in the NYPD and multiple people saying what he did is wrong. You, can't, you guys decide that third degree murder is, no, it should be first degree murder. Him and the guy who was watching. Because as a law enforcement officer, Everything they did that day, completely wrong. Every step they took was wrong. And you guys know it. So face the facts. Face the facts that they was wrong. Excuse me. I'm getting, I'm getting upset, so I started getting hiccups. But I'm just being honest. Y'all really pissing me off, man. Stop protecting these dudes, man. And it's not all officers, and I'm going to say that now. It's not all officers. All officers ain't bad. But it's the bad ones that we need to get rid of. It's the training we need to start over again. We need to train these officers the right way. Not to approach people with guns drawn because of a, a left turn signal. Things like that. That makes no sense. Why are you drawing your gun because somebody didn't use a turn signal? 
Watch that video. Watch these videos that don't make any sense. You're not a law enforcement officer if you're scared. You pick a dangerous job and you take that job and you take it with fear and then you want to pull out your gun because you have a little bullet that you can shoot at. I got plenty of bullets I've, I can shoot and I haven't shot one yet. Seven years I've been doing this. So it don't make no sense. Like, you sit here and y'all try to protect. You can't protect him on this one. You can't protect that guy on this one. It's on. It's The proof is in the pudding. He killed him. Simple as that. He killed him. He took his life. And he's going to remember. He, he, you, this man, I'm at a loss for words because it, don't, it doesn't even make sense. All lives matter. All lives matter. I have a best friend. So I can't say all black lives matter because all black lives matter. They do. All lives matter as well. But right now, black lives matter. Because you're taking people away from us. My best friend who hung himself at the age of 16 wouldn't even want this. That was a white man who couldn't even talk to me at that age. And at that point, I knew I had to protect people because people weren't protecting him. So I knew my time, it was my turn to protect people. And as a law enforcement officer, you that person should have known better. You need to admit your faults, man. At the end of the day, it was wrong, man. All lives matter. Black lives matter. Everything, but I don't care what you're saying about any type of opinion. The background, the training that you get does not cause for you to do any of that knees on his neck. He was calling for his mother, man. You got a grown man calling for his mother and saying he can't breathe. The moment he said he can't breathe, you should have got your knee off of his neck. My opinion to y'all, man, I'm sorry if I'm upset, but it is upsetting. It's real. And this going to be real. This is going to be the realest I have. Hey, I don't care what nobody say. This is real. And this pissed me off. This is what I think. All lives matter. The riots, y'all pushing it. I get it. Y'all upset. But the riots is too... I got family out there in the States, man. I live in Germany right now. I live overseas. I got family out there, man. Listen, I got family. Don't go destroying homeless people's houses. Don't do that, man. What they got to do with it? They homeless, man. They need somewhere to sleep. They need somewhere to live, bro. They need somewhere to, like, they need somewhere to cope, bro. Like, you can't take that away from them. They didn't take the life. The police officer, go to the police officers and go to them and talk to them. Ask them questions. Don't throw stuff, break people's houses, break people's neighborhoods, break into people's stores. People working, man. They need that stuff, man. You take it out away from them. Imagine if somebody came to your house and took your stuff away from you. Don't do that, man. I know y'all don't want to be with peaceful protests. But be smart about the things you do, man. Be smart. Use your mind. Use your heart. Think, would George Floyd want you to do that? Would he want you to tear up everybody's stuff? No, he would want you to fight for his name. Say his name, George Floyd. Say it. You dig what I'm saying? Don't be mad. Don't be, don't be tearing people's stuff up. That ain't bond together, man. This is the time where y'all need to come together. Everybody need to come together, man. Cause it's 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 it's, it's, it's that time, man. This is real hard, man. It's out here, man. We gotta we gotta fight this time, man. That's all I need from y'all, man. Y'all need to fight. Stop the riots, man. I got family, my mom and family and kids, my brothers and all them. They, they all scared, man. Let's listen, man. Take care of each other. Fight for George Floyd. Don't fight everyone else. Don't tear up homeless people's houses, man. You don't do that. You ain't got no right to do that. But you do got a right to protect somebody's name. Multiple people's name. Everybody's name. You feel me? Just remember, man. Like, like for real, man. What I need y'all to do, man, is just really, really push this time, man. If you're going to fight, you got to fight. You got to give it your all. Your heart, your mind, your soul, your spirit. Everything, man. You got to give it. You got to give it your all. I know it's going to be rough. I know it's been rough. But we got to fight this time, man. Man, and pretty much what I want y'all to do right now, man, is if you got any questions, if you want to talk, drop your comments below. Drop the hashtag down below, man. So I really just want to get up out of here, man, and just say, man, all lives matter, man. Uh, just 
one thing I want to say, man, all lives matter, bro. All your lives do matter. And what I really want y'all to do, man, is just, just, just protect yourself, man. Be careful out there. Protest peacefully, man, and understand that life is gonna be hard, man. Sometimes, but this time y'all gotta fight. You feel me? You got y'all gotta fight for real, real talk. Me included. I mean, so just man, if y'all hashtag fight, man. Hashtag fight below. Hashtag all lives matter. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. You know what I mean? Blackout Thursdays. Hashtag all of that, man. Drop your comments below, man, because it's real, man. Don't blame everyone. Blame those who who haven't done the job as a security as an officer, man.